should never have let her out of the lab. You shouldn't have. What? I warned you not to succumb to temptation, Peter. Whatever consciousness Olivia appears to be manifesting now, she is not who you think she is. You don't know that. What I do know is that if I had kept her here, as I should have, then she wouldn't have been taken. Walter feels now that it's out of Olivia's control, that Peter needs to use self-control and responsibility to, to help to protect her from what's happening. And Peter doesn't. He doesn't do it in, in 4.13. And so now that by 4.14, when Olivia has gone missing, he's doing the natural thing, wanting to find someone to blame. He's feeling so distraught over what's happened to Olivia. He's looking around, who can I blame? Again, it's human nature. These are very human characters. Now, whether Peter's intervention would have made any difference to Olivia, I mean, she does what she wants to do. She, she was off on a case, that's what she does. But he was desperately trying to find something to blame, as we do. Something goes wrong, we always say, who's to blame? You know, there's a traffic accident, who's to blame? There's an earthquake, who's to blame? Who didn't let us know in time, you know? We always need this. And I think Walter's doing that as well. But it, it is built up, this, this uh, uh, certainly through 4.13. Peter, this man's brain could operate in ways we can't even imagine. And if he dies, when you're in his mind, you could well die too. Yes, I mean, one of my favorite saying is, don't go into your mind as a dangerous place to go alone. That's about ourselves, you know, so let alone going into someone else's mind. Water has good reason to be concerned about going into September's mind. To start with, we don't know whether we're finding truths in other people's minds. I mean, what we have a collection of perceptions in our mind, not necessarily truth, it's not a video of the truth. So we don't know what we're getting is truthful or not. And the mind of an observer, from what we understand about observers, who are all seeing witnesses to everything, would, would function without, uh, without emotional strings to start with, if they're being true to themselves. It would be a very different uh, palette to the way that we view life. I think Walter has very good reason to be concerned. Uh, he's also concerned that if September should die, while Peter's in that consciousness, he may die as well. But he, I have to say that he respects Peter enough to say, all right, you will make this sacrifice yet again to do the right thing. And despite his own uh, concerns about it, he allows Peter to do it. And Peter can't do it without him. So it's not like trying to stop Olivia leaving the lab. This is saying to this boy, all right, I'll go with you on this. We'll be very careful. And Walter's the right man to do it. He's done it many times before, and it turns out that he does. Peter does come through just. But it's a very dangerous place to go. It's dangerous going into our own. It's doubly, triply dangerous going into someone else's, let alone an alien being. Very fascinating stuff. And, and the journey within that mind, as we shall see in the episode, is fascinating.